Hello, today we're going to be taking a look at the subscript versus coefficient notes. We have been learning about chemical formulas in class and knowing the difference between the subscript and coefficient is very important. Subscripts are the small number behind a symbol and it tells you how many atoms of that element there are. One way to think about it is the word sub means under. So a subscript is the small number that's under each symbol. If there's not a subscript, we just assume that there's one of that element. The coefficient is the big number in front of a formula and it tells you how many different molecules there are. So let's take a look at some examples um, to see how subscripts and coefficients affect formulas. So the first one that we're going to draw in, um, if we have an H, we just see one atom of hydrogen. H2 is two atoms of hydrogens together as one molecule. Now, when we use a coefficient, the coefficient tells you how many different molecules there are. So one thing I like to tell my students is to cover up the coefficient and draw what you see, which is an H. That two lets you know that you need two separate atoms of hydrogen. If we move to the next one and we cover up this two and we draw H2, this lets you know that you needed two H2s. So basically, um, the coefficient in front tells you how many different molecules there are. If there's no coefficient, then it's all together as one. Another example would be with water, which is H2O. If we draw that out, here goes one molecule of water. If we put the coefficient two in front of it, that means you need two H2Os. And so you would have two molecules of water. It's gonna take some time and some practice at looking at this. I wanted you to get the notes in so that in class we have more time to practice um, with these. So good job and keep up the good work.